everyone. Okay, so for those that watched it, I installed a TV uh, into our van. Uh, with its own Amazon Fire Stick, so we now have digital TV in our van. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card up here. Click on that, go and watch that, and then come back and finish this video. In that video, if you haven't watched it, uh, I said that the speakers on the TV, as most TVs are, uh, they're a little tinny. The sound's not great, so, you know, like you do at home, you use surround speakers or, you know, other kind of speakers to watch telly, listen to watch movies and stuff. So... We wanted to get a Bluetooth speaker and we have bought one. And as you've seen from the thumbnail and the title of this video, we just decided to go for uh, an Amazon, you know, uh, Echo Dot. For the size of them, they're pretty good speakers and also this has multi-purpose, you know, lo loads of different things you can do with these. Alexa, most of us know what Alexa is now. Does lots of different things, but uh, primarily it's a Bluetooth speaker for our TV. And we can just ask it to play music, and it will play music, ask it for the weather, ask it to set time, at, you know, alarms and things. So, yeah, I'm going to install that. Now, I have been thinking where to put this in the van. In my research for this, loads of people were saying, yeah, it works fine on 12 volt. You can just plug it in. It works fine. Um, there is a bit of difference between the second generation and the third generation. This is the third generation, um, and the power requirements are slightly different to the second generation. So with the the second generation, I'm told you can convert it from five volts to twelve volts. So you can just so you can power it off of like a power bank and um, or a USB port in your van. Uh, but this it does work when you when you uh, power it with five volts, power it from a USB port, uh, but only on low volume. As soon as you turn the volume up a little bit, it tries to draw more power and it can't. So I have to run it to a. So this is what I did. I'll show you the lead I made. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I bought a 5 volt to 12 volt power adapter lead. Um, and yeah, like I say, powering it that way, it cuts out on loud volume. So what I did is I cut the, uh, the, port, the plug off of that wire and I wired it. So that goes in the Alexa and I wired it to a cigarette plug. So now I can go straight to 12 volts with a cigarette lighter port in socket, you know. And that works great. So that works fine. So then I thought, if I leave, if just leave it, leave that, I can move it around. I can take it outside, plug it into a, maybe put another socket on the end of my kitchen unit, plug it outside so we can listen to music outside. And I'm probably going to make another one of these in the future. But I also want it fixed into one permanent place. Because you're not always going to want to move it. You always, you, and I don't want wires on show. And it's going to be primarily sat in one spot. So I'm going to... Disconnect this and I'm going to take this end and I'm going to wire that directly to my fuse box and stuff. And I'm going to have my dot fixed in one spot. Now to do that we have bought this, which is a handy wall hanger. It's got good cable, you can do the good cable management on this thing around the back. You can wrap it around and take it through. But we're going to mount it on the ceiling. So this goes in here like this. And we are going to fix it to the ceiling. I'll show you where it's going to go. <clears throat> there was a few options of where to, where, where to put it, but I wanted to be able to hear it from both sides of the van because you can, you can watch TV this side and that side. So I was looking at all kinds of places for it to go, maybe on the ceiling. Um, I wanted to get, I was going to put it there, but then you might bash it, getting in and out of bed. So the spot I'm actually going to go for is just above the TV, there. I'm gonna put it there. We can hear it from both sides, wherever we are on the van. So that's where we're going. And then I can run the wire into this wardrobe and down to my power station, which is down here. So that's what I'm gonna do now. So enough chit chat, let's do this. So yeah, it doesn't, it bothers me that it's not gonna be symmetrical and it's gonna be off centered to the van, but I'm thinking, just put it there. And I can run a wire straight into here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Found a couple of screws. Just move my TV out of the way. It's going to go like that. There.
Okay, now she's got to do the wiring. Uh, yeah, cut this off of this thing. I know, I, I know, I know I could probably put a dual cigarette socket with, with that TV power thing, but I, I think I want to keep it separate. But a dual cigarette port in there, but I want to keep it separate. Gonna want the Alexa on all the time. Whereas the TV gets switched on and off, so I'll just run another wire. Just gonna drill a hole in, in here, put the cable in the wardrobe down the corner, find the way to the power. That's what I'm gonna do. But I probably will make it I probably will order another one of these leads and make up another one so that we can just unplug it, take this out, and then with a lead just like this, go and plug it. Anywhere, somewhere else, you know. We've also got the mains power lead that that came with it, so we can run it off of the inverter. I'm wondering how much these draw, how much power they draw when they're just on standby, you know, just doing their normal listening thing. We'll find out. We will find out. Right. Okay. I'm going to drill the hole for the cable from the back because I've only got a small area where it can come through because I've got a big sheet of OSB behind this wall bracket and I've only got one little gap for the cable to go through so I'm just going to drill from here and hopefully I don't get much blowout on the good edge There's a little bit of tear out there but Perfect size just for that cable. So then I can plug that into my Alexa. Yeah, like that. That would do. Off cuts of cabling. This stuff is from b and It's their twin core. It's rated up 10 amps. Which will be fine for this because have you seen how thin the cables are that come with the Alexas, the dots, they need them much thicker, so they'll be fine. This is what I normally would use, yes, but this is this is two mil, which is rated up to 25 amp. But I'm gonna keep that for when I need to power for because I've got other things to power for that are gonna be more juicy, like uh, internet. We've ordered, we're about to order some internet stuff. That might need a bit more thicker gauge wire. So yeah, I'm just going to use some of this. Because these are really thin wires on this Alexa. When I make the connections, I strip loads back and I fold it like at least double on itself. So yeah, I can, f I can twist these, fold them in half. And then make it a lot easier to connect wires to those. I'm going to use some connectors with my stuff. Use some spade connectors in case I ever want to just pull it apart and change it up. By the way, I'm not an electrician. If you um, are unsure on something, if you're unsure on how to do something, do your research. Don't just blind faith copy people you see on YouTube. With the thinner cables, these are these are great, but with the thinner cables, sometimes doesn't quite grab them all the way home. So I'll just give it a tweak with this as well. Make sure that is on there. It's not quite. Better. I think I'm ready to put the fuse in. I'm going to start off with a 5 amp fuse. The cable is rated for 
10 amp anyway, so yeah, I'll put a 5 amp fuse in. It should be fine. Let me plug the fuse in. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There we go. Got a light on. Let's see if it connects to the internet. Just using my hotspot on my phone for a minute. Alexa, what's the weather like in West Sussex? Right now in West Sussex, England, it's 17 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. Today's Alexa, forecast is... Alexa, stop. Now, what music can I play that wouldn't get me a copyright strike? Um, all right, I'm going to play, play a song. But you won't be able to hear the song because it'll be a copyright strike. But Alexa, play Jackson Five. Shuffling songs by Jackson Five on Amazon Music. <laughs> fuse on it. If everyone thinks that's wrong let me know. I'm happy to learn but I'm pretty sure that's the lowest fuse I've got and the fuse is rated for the meant to be rated for the cable not the appliance so I believe. So 5 amp fuse would be fine. Man I need internet for this van so badly. Using hotspot on my phone running out of data. That is one of the next things we're buying is all the internet stuff. So here we go let's get rid of the remote. Alexa, open YouTube. Alexa, open Luke's fan life on YouTube. Here's what I found. Alexa, open Netflix. Getting Netflix from Fire TV. <laughs> anyway. Still working. There you go. That is how you fit a Echo Dot, or that is how you get Alexa into your van. The third generation, which I've got, runs on 12 volt, just fine. And the draw, well, it's hard to tell. It's, it's like it's next to nothing. Even now, I've got the TV on, which is power on the Fire Stick, and I've got the Alexa on, the Echo Dot on. I'm on zero because now I'm getting a trickle of solar in. Because it's a. Uh, because I have to try it at night time. I can't. I don't have a nice light switch on my solar, so I can't just switch off the solar and then find out what it's actually using. So I'll test it all out at night, and that way I'll be able to see what it's using. So, yes, there are better Bluetooth speakers out there. The, the Echo Dot. It's a small speaker, but it is better than the speakers that we've got on the TV. The TV speakers are a little bit tinny, and that makes watching films a lot better. So, uh, yeah, we're happy. We're happy with that. There you go. Alexa in my van. Just need the internet. That'll be uh, one of the next videos coming up, I reckon. So anyway, yeah, that's how you get Alexa in your van. Uh, if you found this video kind of interesting, useful, fun, whatever, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, and there's a little notification bell down there if you haven't clicked on that. That way you won't miss out on any uploads I make in the future. See ya!